the Tony Green unit steam engines are normally supplied in individual units like this one um, either as uh, kits or as complete engines uh, and they're designed to be coupled up into uh, multi-cylinder engines but they do offer this option with a complete with a boiler Uh, boiler mounting is rather well, clever but uh, can be a bit awkward in that to get a burner the boiler hinges up and the boiler is fixed in the base and the burner is fixed in the base now uh, it's um, an Nesbitt style um, burner but I should be using Sterno bit awkward to get at. Could be a bit messy, but <laughs> I still prefer the Sterno to the SB tablets any day. Now with the uh, vertical piston um, with the opening at the bottom it's a bit difficult to get the oil into inside the cylinder. Um, you have to do that you have to turn it upside down and I've already done that so I just need to oil the bearings there. steam oil on the port face. When I bought this engine, it was second hand, but it obviously hadn't been used very much. And the piston was very stiff in the, uh, and rough in the cylinder. And also the port faces were rough. So I spent a bit of time lapping the port faces and the piston. And then I ran it in for a couple of hours on using compressed air. But this is the first time I've uh, run it on steam since then. So we'll see how it, uh, it works.
Oh, it's running a lot better now than it was. The plastic steam pipe looks a bit ugly but unfortunately it's necessary because of the way the boiler is mounted. It stopped rather suddenly there. Not sure why. The, uh, may have been just at the sterno was getting a bit low. That wouldn't have stopped it suddenly. There seems to be a lot of steam escaping from the port face. So maybe the trunnion spring needs tightening up a bit. But anyway, the sternos burnt out now, so that's about it. <laughs> 